Uh, good morning, folks, from the Rutland Warehouse. Today is February 10th, Thursday. And I thought I would walk us around the warehouse, given it's been a while. Starting here in Dead Man's Corner. <laughs> Dead soldiers. Some of these come back uh, from Ross. And here they sit until I find a place to put them. That white refrigerator there that I've just scanned by, we've been stealing parts off. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do it. So, we've got some, if I sound a little winded, we just unloaded a truck of uh, CRD-18. So, I'm getting old, man, I'm getting old. So, we've got some Whirlpool uh, coin op there. Here's a quick peek at the dishwashers that came in a few weeks ago. They're not in bad shape, really, with dishwashers. I have to run those way down before I get another order because it's a full truckload, as I've bored you folks with before. And there's a lot on a truck. Uh, stack uh, Homestyle Speed Queens. Right there. Dryer dryers, I think. LTEE. -E. Can't remember. Some Danby fridges. Oh, I think I did not scan over here. Um, all this inventory course on the web. Danby Compact Refrigerators. That season will be coming. Uh, over here we do have uh, some Whirlpool dishwashers. Stainless steel, white, and black. Uh, as I said, Whirlpool branded. I actually installed a black one of these for my stepmom the other day. Uh, quite a nice dishwasher, actually. Super quiet, uh, well made. I was surprised that they... Uh, they had underneath them a um, water detection system, so if you get a leak, it's going to presumably shut down the, the machine, shut down the water valve. not sh exactly sure how it works, to be honest with you, but I, I saw it under there. Uh, and over here, we've got compact refrigeration. Good stock of that stuff. Gas stack there, Speed Queen. And we got a few Whirlpool front-loading washers in this room. Uh, water heaters, 55-gallon electrics. Oh, what do we got over there? It's getting so crowded, we've got things everywhere. Here's some uh, electronic home-style Speed Queen top-load washers. My stockpile of air conditioners. Uh, and a smaller room has some uh, air conditioners in it as well. Got a bunch of portables. Actually, I'm pretty happy about that. We'll start the year off good. Uh, for a long time, I've had a lot of Danby 20-inch ranges. We're finally weeding through that inventory. I got double shipped on them some time ago and took a while to get rid of them. Uh, a lot of Premier right there. And a variety of configurations. Oh, now we'll walk out into the big room. Try not to go too fast or shake the camera too much. It does get a little uh, wobbly at times. Maybe I'm a little wobbly. Still got our stack of microwaves. As you recall, I had to order a full truck of OTRs and it's probably gonna take me three years to get rid of them all, but they're trickling out. What am I gonna do? Gotta have them, right? Gotta have them for you guys. Uh, Danby air conditioners, got a stack of those. I think I might have said before, uh, I'm kind of happy about the carryover because with the increase in uh, pricing on all appliances, I mean, let's face it, we're going to own those at the right price. And I say we because, as you know, I'm, I'm pretty fair about that. I, I'm not gouging anybody. I'm making my fair share, and hopefully you guys are making your fair share and a little more. So we've got some Speed Queen. Uh, those are the commercial dryers right there. I got a good supply of uh, the newer Whirlpool washer, CAW4512s, right? 4.5 cubic feet of volume. Got the matching dryers, the CED7011s. Plenty of those. There's some Homestyle Gas LDG30s. Man, it was such a drought with those for so long. It's nice to have them in the barn. Uh, XRS 18 G's in white got a whole pile of those GE has started to produce and ship well I shouldn't say they've started to produce they've been producing all along frankly these things were all ordered 
um, in November of 2020, 2020. Um, so crazy, right? <laughs> but I've got them now. Uh, some of you have experienced uh, GE's failure to put some screws in so you can attach the handles. Uh, just know that I have got a ton of those available. If you run into that, I will get them right out to you via UPS. Uh, I got some XFE 26, so uh, in stainless, right? So bottom out French door ice and water. On the outside, there's our GE Produce Crosley Professional Washers. Good slug of those. Some more LDE 30s. Still got a lot of CAW 4211s. That's the closeouts, uh, the predecessor to the one we just saw around the corner. And uh, those I'm still specialing out. Uh, I believe that was 450 bucks. So still a good buy. You know, obviously you, know, you don't have the matching dryer cosmetically. You could certainly get the uh, 7011 and uh, capacity wise be fine. They just cosmetically wouldn't match. Uh, but not everybody needs a matching dryer, so it's a good value uh, given the price of what we're paying for the stuff now. So YTD 74s, professional dryers, good shape there. Got a lot of conservator product in stock, um, electric dryers, a lot of gas dryers. Um, Whirlpool is now having us buy solid trucks one skew, so feast or famine for sure. Uh, the CRD Conservator 2113s, so 21 cubic foot in white. Got a good slug of those. Uh, here's some CRD 1812s in white, 18 cubic foot. We, and we just unloaded another truckload of these, uh, mixed truckload though, which is good news. So I've got black, uh, white, and stainless now in good stock. VAW 3584s, plenty of Conservator stuff, folks. We're in really good shape there. Just going to quick turn around so I don't miss anything. Uh, those are side by sides, 23 cubic foot stainless, 33 inches wide, fits a niche. Uh, I still have a ton, <laughs> 90 some odd, I don't know, some, something like that of the uh, 18 cubic foot Amana units. You know, it's, uh, it's always a gamble in this business, particularly in the last couple of years. And obviously, I brought these in. Um, didn't like to. I wasn't happy with my price at the time. But I had no other 18s to offer. So just like every other manufacturer, it took a while to get them in. When they finally came in, they came in on the mass. And now I have a, a lot of inventory. But, you know, the good news is uh, as prices go up, these keep getting cheaper, right? <laughs> So eventually you're gonna look at these and say, hey, that's a good buy. And uh, maybe not in the not too distant future. And as we walk down the line, uh, XUD 27s, stack Crosley washer dryer. Got a slug of those. I actually just refused a load of those. Postponed it 60 days. Because um, frankly, I think I've got enough to last that long and I'm out of room. Uh, seven cubic foot Danby's. We got here. Oh, these are okay. So these are a man of side by sides that I brought in from time to time. 25 cubic foot uh, in stainless. Still got some of these stray Amana high end manual clean ranges, although they've been starting to trickle out. Somebody's using them. Uh, stainless 18s, XRS 18 GASS, plenty of those. Those have had a while, they should have the hardware. <laughs> There's another slug of XFE 26s. Bottom mount French door. 22 cubic foot uh, top mount. 1986 Lincoln. <laughs> In my boat. They're taking up space. Who would have hunk it at the time though? Uh, more white 18s. It's kind of congested. Uh, sometimes you just gotta put stuff wherever you've got a hole. Into the ranges. Ranges are probably our thinnest category right now. There is a truckload out there on order. It, it could be 45, 60 days out. Hopefully not that long, but uh, some categories are good. You know, you, you gas stainless, gas uh, black, gas white. I think I'm pretty good in the gas. It's the electric that's kind of getting a little sparse. 
Um, but here are your basic gas uh, white Crosley ranges. I've also got a bunch of basic electrics and those are the last of them because GE is not going to produce them for Crosley uh, at least for some time. I don't know when that's going to change. I might get some information on that a little later this month. Uh, Crosley has their annual convention which once again is going to be virtual. A Zoom meeting. And I'm good with that because they were talking about Dallas and I really don't want to go to Dallas. I'm trying to get them to have it in Nashville. I'd be all over that. Oh, we're getting a little low over here on the XB258s. You know, that is a, that's a hot skew. Um, so just keep that in mind. Watch the inventory uh, on the web and take care of yourself. Uh, we will run out of those for a short period of time. A lot of freezers and uh, frankly my freezer inventory is going to look like the best bargain you've seen in 2022 by the time freezer season rolls around because as you've seen the, the prices have gone crazy uh, and I own these at the right price so we are going to look great come freezer season. WRT 541s. Those are 21 cubic foot uh, stainless units. Kind of high end. I bring in for a uh, mobile home, or I shouldn't say mobile home, modular home manufacturer that produces only high efficiency homes. Uh, and they demand that they get that piece, so that's what they're here for. Uh, you got him an email a week, two weeks ago on WRT 134s. Uh, that's what we've got here. Uh, this is the inventory that I bring in for a housing authority. Uh, they use these because of the size, 28 by whatever the height is, works for them. Uh, and I ordered uh, 100 of them uh, many, many, many months ago for them. 50 of them they took the other day. These are not committed to them, so I'm making those available. Uh, some over-the-range stainless. There's a few stray side-by-sides, 25 white I see there. Uh, behind them, XUD 27s, those are the stacks, uh, washer dryer. Somewhere in this mix, I've got gas ones as well. You know, really, when you get to um, down to the nitty gritty, we, we are really well inventoried right now. Better inventoried, I think, than I've seen in many, 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 many months. So, you know, I'm, I'm not unhappy about that. I think the truck that we just unloaded out back here is going to hit my building a few times. He's having, he's having trouble navigating his way out of here. Oh my goodness. Uh, here's the uh, 18s we just unloaded. So the TD, stainless models, TW, white models. TBs are back over here. And uh, way up there, air conditioner is waiting for the season. I do have some brown hoods left, folks, and those I would love to see gone. I do not want to be in the brown hood business any longer. So if you have a need, give me a shout. We can probably work out a bargain. Uh, and over here in this aisle, LWN 432s, we're getting down on those. Uh, I think there may be 60 pair left when you get down to it. Uh, I will have more coming in. A load in... Two loads that were scheduled for May uh, look like they're moving up to end of March, early April. So even though I may run out, I'm not going to run out for a significant amount of time. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, and then more Danby stuff. So there you have it, folks. Uh, that is current events here at the warehouse in Rutland. I hope you enjoyed the walkabout, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.